Lucas Media, so former quarterback of the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields, who now plays for the Steelers, did an interview last week basically saying that he wears fake jewelry despite making over $5 million a year. So he talked about how he got his earrings off Amazon while he already makes 30 times more than the average American. Now, I'm going to be honest about this. I'm going to be honest. Shout out to Justin Fields, man. Salute to you, sir. Don't nobody be wearing no real jewelry like that. A lot of artists only wear real jewelry like that. A lot of it be fake. You really can't tell, honestly, unless you get a diamond tester or something like that. So what's wrong with getting you some earrings on Amazon? Chad Ochocinco told people 20 years ago, y'all remember when he was going to Claire's and getting his food from McDonald's and driving them small, smart cars and stuff 20 years ago? At first, I thought he was joking, but, but that's how he's able to keep his money. And when you famous, honestly, don't nobody care, man. Don't nobody care. Nobody's checking to see if it's real Louis or Gucci or none of that. And that's how these designers and these luxury brands get us. You know, they they make it seem like if you have that, you're more than something. Even with Jordans, right? Even with Jordans. As much as I love Jordans, just like every other kid growing up, man, that was a marketing ploy. That was a marketing ploy when if you had on a pair of Jordans, you was the man. But if you had on a pair of Shaqs, you'd get laughed at. But at the end of the day, they shoes. And they pretty much come from the same factory. All they do is just slap the logo on there. Y'all remember when them Jordans came out back in the day? They was uh, $199. I think they came out $01, $02. Oh, two, I think. They was $199. They came out in that briefcase. And I remember I wanted a pair so bad just to say I paid $200 for a pair of sneakers. But when you really think about it, that's ridiculous for a pair of tennis shoes. You know, paying $400,000 for a car that you can't afford is ridiculous. And it's all about saving your money. I got, I, I, I'm gonna keep telling the story. When my cousin got drafted, when I had a cousin that got drafted in the NBA, I'm thinking we finna be rolling, right? Rolls Royces and Bentleys. Mind you, this is like '98. You know, when the high boys, the high boys on fire. This is like the heart, the the height of cash money, the high boys. I'm thinking we finna be rolling. You know, we finna have on ice style jewelry and all that. Mind you, I'm a whole lot younger than him, but I was always hanging with him and. He had one car. He had two cars, but they were two regular cars. You know what I mean? Like a he had like a truck and a, a Camaro that changed colors. Ninety six Camaro that changed colors. That was it. He had one house. That's it. No no jewelry. No Rolexes. No Jacob watches. You know. And one day me and him was uh was riding together. And I'm like, cuz man, why don't you why don't you get you a Bentley, man? He's like, for what? I don't need that. And then he told me, he said, man, man, make sure you always, always invest your money, cuz. And even to this day, even to this day, he only pays six years in the NBA and has never worked a day, another day for nobody. Versus some of his teammates, you know, made 12 times as much money as him. But you, you hear crazy things about them as far as their money. So, yeah, man, shout out to Justin Fields, man. That money got to last you forever, man. Don't nobody care about them if them earrings is real or fake anyway. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.